Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming and welcome to setting up C inside of Redos. And this video will work, of course, if you have it on a physical machine or if you're using DOSBox, uh, either is fine. Um, if you're on a physical machine, I highly recommend F Dimples unless you just wish to use a package which is not found on the disk and F Dimples pulls data from the disk. Um, and in which case you can use the site, which you can see in front of me or in front of you here on the screen. Um, and it's linked in the description below and you can go to like development. There's a whole bunch of different compilers. Some of these aren't even on the, uh, the actual, uh, disc, but we're going to use F dimples just cause it's a little easier. Um, but either, honestly, either option is fine. I think in another video, I might just grab everything straight off the, the site just to, you know, show the difference. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and launch DOSBox. And as you can see, Drive E is already mounted, so we're good to go. And we're just going to do F dimples here. And then we're going to go down to development and use the arrow keys to navigate this. And we're just going to install the DJG PP development environment, pretty much everything that they offer, except for the C compiler and the Objective C compiler. I don't like either of those languages. Um, and this thing here, uh, RHIDE, it's an IDE that is included with DJG PP, which we will actually not be using, but if you would like to use it, uh, definitely go ahead and grab it. And then we're just gonna scroll down. And whoops, we're gonna grab the open Wacom compiler. So the nice thing about the open Wacom compiler, like I said before, is that I'm just gonna increase the cycle count here. So hopefully it'll speed up a little bit the extraction. So the nice thing about the open Wacom compiler is that, of course, uh, you know, it's based on the Wacom compiler, which is from the ye olden boss days. Uh, and it oh, there's a lot of resources out there that are very compatible with it, which is why I recommended it. Don't mind the screen tearing, by the way. It's just because I set the cycle count for why. Um, and we're going to use that because I do want to show, like, how I have a tutorial already written out and planned for creating, like, a quote-unquote installer. Um and doing some like kind of neat stuff with it. And uh, it's really easy to do with the open Wacom compiler. And of course, open Wacom compiler, unlike DJ GPP, can produce 16-bit executables, which means you can develop for significantly older uh, DOS machines. Uh, whereas with DJ GPP, you can only pretty much develop for 386, unless I'm mistaken about that, which I could be. I'm a little, uh, not new to programming, but I did not grow up I did have a DOS machine as a kid, but I did not program with DOS. No, my, my first programming environment was like Windows 98. So kind of skipped that. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it here uh, while it finishes up. I'll see you guys as soon as it's done. Okay, and we're back. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so now what we want to do, uh, you know what would really, really help? Hang on. There we go. Okay, we're we're getting down to a much more realistic uh, cycle count, and it's not not so crazy. Okay, so autoexec.bat. We want to do edit autoexec.bat, and we're going to modify our bat file. Now we could put the path here, which is a totally valid place to put the path, um, and you can absolutely do that. Uh, but we're actually I'm just going to do it down here. I know that a lot of programs like particularly like like old installers and stuff they'll put stuff up there, but I like to do things a little differently, and it really doesn't matter, at least as far as I know. So, I really just do that. I'm not even sure what I just did or how I even got that up there. Okay, you know what? It copied something from my clipboard. I'm just going to exit this, and absolutely no, I do not wish to do that. Okay, I didn't even know it could do that, or how it did that, but, you know. Oh, I already have it set up. Okay, perfect. Um, so what we want to do is want to go down here to compilers. Uh, I, I think I see what happened. I, I got to say it didn't copy from clipboard because yeah, DOSBox can't do that. That really confused me there. Um, so I want to do set path and then we want to set it to, this is for DJGPP. I want to just set it to the bin folder 
And then down here, we're just setting the environment variable. I can use the mouse cursor. And then right here, this is for um, open Wacom. And then we'll just we'll just save it. And then we will do a file exit. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to run a bat file located inside of the open Wacom folder called ow set environment bat. So ow set env bat. You run it. You get this little prompt if it went through. And then I'm just going to rerun auto exec and hopefully it doesn't break. Perfect. Everything's good. There's two commands. Normally at this point you would actually reboot the machine, but. And then we do GCC dash version. You see 4.7, you see this, then. Hey, look at that. GCC is set up. And if we want to make sure that Wacom is set up, do WCL uh, space dash dash version. And if you see that section, everything is set up. So now we're good to go. Everything is great. And the next, we're going to have like one more video. We're going to set up the Fed ID. Um, actually, but before we go, uh, if you type in RH ID and give it a second there, it will launch the, it's an integrated development environment for developing DJG PP apps. And it was last updated, uh, apparently somewhere around 2003, I suppose. Um, it's a pretty decent uh, ID. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with using this because we're going to use Fed. But if you would like to use this, feel free. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on like setting it up and stuff. But for now, it's going to exit out of that. We're going to be using Fed. So I'll see you guys in the next video.